we're in Alexa Hospital where I just left the resuscitation room where a nine-year-old boy named Ahmed was being treated basically with sedation to ease his suffering as he dies. He was crossing the street in front of the shelter where his family is staying when the building beside him blew up. He was hit by shrapnel, by rubble. His brain matter was exposed. He was taken to a hospital close to where he lived in Nusarat, and they tried to so, But there's nothing anybody can do for him. Like so many cases here, there isn't capacity to manage complex neurological cases, complex trauma cases. The operating theaters are working 24 hours a day. The emergency room is far, far beyond its basic capacity. We're seeing kids like Ahmed dying unnecessarily because of bombing and fighting and because the health system doesn't have the capacity to even come close to managing these kinds of complex cases among the hundreds and the thousands of cases that come through these doors in front of me every day. This is an unacceptable situation. We as an international community should not accept that thousands upon thousands of people, children, are being blown up. We're in Alexa Hospital where I just left the resuscitation room where a nine-year-old boy named Ahmed was being treated basically with sedation to ease his suffering as he dies. He was crossing the street in front of the shelter where his family is staying when the building beside him blew up. He was hit by shrapnel, by rubble. His brain matter was exposed. He was taken to a hospital.